Hi everybody, my name is Spammels and welcome to the Curse of Monkey Island. This game is an absolute classic and one of my favourites. The reason I thought of putting this on the channel is simply, if you haven't played this before, you're gonna love it. If you have played it before, you're gonna love it, because it's amazing. So, without any more stalling, let's begin! In spite of its age, this is still a beautiful game. The art is just stunning. Deep in the Caribbean. Monkey Island. And here comes our hero. Captain's log. Skybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. And my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I had thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. <laughs> oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. It's cheesy, but good. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Mm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. Oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I... Hey! The sounds, the music, the sound, the, the voices. Guybrush Fleetwood is a hero. He's, I love it. I would love to meet that Dominic guy. Shake his hand. Go, you, sir, are fantastic pirates. I like to think everyone has experienced Monkey Island at some point. And now you are. Let's go. Fire! Times do I have to tell you, LeChuck? I just don't feel that way about you. Elaine? By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. Classic love story. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. <laughs> Blast me your hair, woman! Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Oh, tell me, yes. Let's just be friends instead. So many friendly zombies out there. Chuck, you're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn your riddles, you saucy female! What do you mean? Ah. You saucy oh. female! <laughs> you're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved, Guybrush Threepwood. <sighs> Ah, how romantic. Ship ahoy! Threepwood! Fish him out. Guybrush? 
guy brush, Threepwood, by my gangrenous gut. I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned, but you won't escape the taste of my blade! Ah! Ooh, the lass has spirit. Throw him in the hole, and I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long bolts! And prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. Yes! Part 1 The Demise of the Zombie Pirate Lurchuk. <laughs> To get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door, well then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! Okay, we're now in the game. So we've got a ramrod over here. Scurvy dogs! Gonna take that. Mine, stealing it. Gonna go full Mary Poppins and slide it down my leg. Um, this small pirate is in the way. We can pick him up, we can look at him, and we can talk to him. Let's have a chat. Stand back! I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose. The wickedest fiend ever to sail under the banner of King Death. I'd as soon chew your nose off as look at you. you sound pretty tough. You sound pretty tough. I did read these out. He's gonna say so them. tough. In junior high, I stuffed Davy Jones in his locker. Uh huh. How tough are you again? Oh, I'm so tough, I could survive being flogged with a cat of nine tails for half an hour, or three cats of five tails for eighteen minutes. It's very precise. Are you wearing a fake beard? Blood knows the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave, made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. Yummy. I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. Take root, yeah, wait yes. A minute. That's how that You're works. Not a pirate? Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with the Ship of the Living Dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audiobooks on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can too. Ask me how. Uh, okay. Tell me about these audiobooks. To become a pirate, the audiobooks on Parrot are the key. You get a set of 12 parrots, one a month. Return as many as you like. Keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? All the phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. Uh huh. huh. Um, I'm not in the mood for sales hype. I'm not in the mood for sales hype. Here. At least take this literature. You may change your mind. I don't think I will, but I'll take that. Why not? Da -da 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 -da. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. I like these scenarios. Peep. Peep. Yes, scabrous swab. One more word, and I'll let you have it. You know what's coming. Word. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. Oh, shucks. Oh. oh. It's even a real hook. Oh, there, there. So yes, Wally, we met him in the second game, but we haven't played that together. Just a bit of backstory for you. No need to worry about it, we're going forwards. Let's uh, take that plastic hood. Hood, hook, hook. Yoink. 
All right, so this is our bag, well, our chest. We're just magically carrying in our pants. Helium balloons, okay, the ramrod. We're gonna take this. Oh, this has to be used with something else. There we go. That and that, doink. We now have a gaff. Let's shut and... I don't know, where we got the helium balloons? Oh, from the fest, the carnival of the damned, yes. Gonna poke our head through the porthole. I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. Okay, maybe not. We're gonna use the cannon instead. This should be fun. Yay! And boom! Oops. Boom. Yay! We're gonna take out the pirates. I'm a terrible shot. There we go. Right, two more to go. Bring it on. One more and boop. And we are hey, done. I'm getting pretty good at this. Pretty good if it means shooting down your own team. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. <laughs> this guy is my favorite man in the entire game. In the entire, <laughs> they messed with the wrong entire series. <laughs> Lose something? I am Murray, the invincible demonic skull. Quake in fear, mortal. For your insolence, I shall now devour you. Uh-huh. Could you... Uh, uh, could you pick me up so I can bite you? No. <laughs> I just thought I'd ask. Murray the Talking Skull. He's a legend. An absolute legend. You'd look great with a melting candle on your forehead. Can I call you Bob? You're about as fearsome as a doorstep. It's been swell talking to you. Uh, You're about as fearsome as a doorstop. Is it a really evil-looking doorstop? Uh, never mind. He has an obsession of being evil and... You know, you look great with a melting candle on your forehead. I get the feeling you're not taking me very seriously. No, I am, really. Really? Then let me hear you scream in terror. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Was your mother's father bold too? At least now you never have to worry about what to wear. How can you see without eyeballs? I'm going now. This How one... can you see without eyeballs? How can you walk around without a brain? <laughs> no Bazinga. Right, I'm, going I'm going now. now. You... Good. Now leave me alone. I have a lot of scheming and evil plotting to do. <laughs> He's lost his entire body. He's just a skull. Doesn't go off his game. Now I'm going to scheme. My hands on that gunner. Oh, he's talking about me. He's just going to scheme away and plot. Ah, well. I guess I'll just have to look on the bright side of this. Yoink. Hey, that's my arm. Give that back. Nope. You know what we're gonna do? Good night, Murray. It's been swell talking. Boop. Hey. That wasn't very nice. I know, but he had it coming. He's evil after all. He would happily murder us if we would hold him against our face. Right, so we got lovely skeleton arm and a saber or a cutlass. <laughs> Take that fearsome cannon in the straight rope. I guess. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Taste cold steel, feeble cannon restraint rope. I was close. It's been a long time since I played this, but I still remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> right, it's time to get out of here. Mind decides, Wally. I'm going Ocean's Eleven on this. <laughs> now, with the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball. I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world! <laughs> how much I truly care. That wasn't very smart. <laughs> Neptune's navel! That was a close one! Whoopsie! I hope he has boat insurance. lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. Yeah, that's the least of your worries. You're the room for the treasure, doubloons, and box of chocolates. And a flotation device. I like it. It's LeChuck and all his gory. Uh, glory. Gory, glory. Let's have it. I see more than enough of him already. Uh, what bag? It's a bag of wooden nickels. 
some treasure. Hey, there's a big diamond ring behind this bag. Yay, let's have that. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, flotation device. No self-respecting pirate would be seen wearing that. Uh-huh. Right, let's do this. So we're going to go... Everybody knows that if you get stuck in a capsized boat or submarine or whatever, she's a diamond on a window. Boop. Bow. And that happens. It was also on The Simpsons, I think. Homer had an earring or something. Flotation device to safety! Nothing says I'm a pirate like flotation device. Guybrush? Guybrush! I thought I'd lost you forever. Is it really you? Yes, Elaine. <laughs> um, did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well, yes, Guybrush, I guess I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler, a rogue, a wanderer, a man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow, something always Guy leads brush. me. Guybrush, stop babbling. Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, what a player, what a oh, player. Guybrush. He knows how to woo the ladies. Wally, you're alive. But how did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it? Wow, wow. Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, i got to be going. I hear there's a tattoo removal place on this island that's <laughs> freckle safe. See you at the wedding. Guybrush! I love the humor uh... in this game. We're going to call that an episode right about there. I hope you have enjoyed this introduction to the Curse of Monkey Island. Guybrush Freakwood, the everyday hero of a flotation device. His voodoo-ridden girlfriend who looks like she turned to gold. What's going to happen next? You'll have to tune into the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.